Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today I'm giving my secrets on how I get my perfect red hair at home. All products will be listed down below and as a quick disclaimer I just want to let you guys know that I am definitely not a professional hairstylist. Don't take my advice if you don't want to destroy your hair. So if you guys are interested on how I get my perfect red hair at home go ahead and keep on watching. Subscribe right down below. Let's go ahead and get started on this video. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for this and this and basically everything else. So we're just gonna get into it because I figured I'm coloring my hair anyways. I need a redemption. The last one was hella, hella out of focus. This is what my hair currently looks like. It may look a little bit better on camera just because there's so much light to kind of reflect off the red pigment, but trust me in person, it is so, so faded. It's, it does not look cute. It's super dry right now too, so you will have to excuse that. Let's start off with how I touch up my roots. Now you can see right now my roots do have quite a bit of outgrowth. The last time that I actually colored my hair was maybe like four weeks ago. All I'm gonna say is if you are not someone that's like ready for a lot of maintenance, don't go red. Not only does red require you to color it constantly, but you have to clean up almost everything. It destroys pillowcases, it destroys towels, it basically destroys everything in your life. So if you are not ready to have like designated wash days or you're an everyday hair washer, girl, red is not for you. We're gonna start off with how I touch up my roots. This is the Age Beautiful from Sally Beauty and then I get 5RR which is a medium intense red. So I do this on my roots and then um, my sister actually gave me this So Boost from Matrix because she's actually a hairdresser. It is just a straight up red pigment that I put in with the color. Then I do a dash of the 5V are with 20 volume. I have the Matrix 20 volume. We'll go ahead and open this up. This is the 5RR. With this one, I believe it's one to one. I'm like 99% sure. Yes, it's one to one mixing ratio. So how do I want to do this? Because this tube is one ounce. Okay, so I'm going to fill, because there's lines on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to Go ahead and squeeze it down to the one ounce, which is right here, and then I will fill up the bowl until it hits two ounces on the measuring. When I actually do my hair, because the Arctic Fox doesn't take to uh, like natural virgin hair very well, I do have to do this on my roots in order to actually get color. I'm gonna do a splash of the 5RV. I would say it's probably like maybe an eighth of an ounce that I'm putting in the 5RV. I don't think next time I do my hair I'm going to add the 5RV, but I feel like with the violet that's in this, it does just add a little bit more of like that burgundy tone which I want. And then I'm gonna take my 20 volume and I'm going to fill it up until it hits the two ounces. So this is what we're working with. We're gonna go in with the So Boost, which is a red pigment, and I'm just gonna squeeze a little blob on there as well. I don't know if you can buy just straight up red pigments over the counter, or not over the counter. I don't know if you can buy like straight up red pigments from Sally's, but I will ask my sister if that is like a thing. I'm also going to start off with less color because I don't know if I'm gonna need all this color. So we're gonna mix her up and then you can already see it's starting to turn red, but that is from that red pigment right away. My hair is just like in some desperate need. Like look at that end compared to like the root and even like the mid shaft of the hair. It's just, it's not a cute look right now. Also my spray tan needs to go too, so don't mind that. Today is just gonna be like a me day, kind of revamping myself for the week, for the next month. Also, I have massive breakout and whiteheads on my chin. Also, you're gonna have to ignore that, but hey, I am, I'm a human. We get pimples. Um, Jesus, look at that outgrowth. So how do I wanna do this? So let's just part it down the middle. I'm going to take this half, pin this up, and then I'm gonna take like, I don't know, quarter of this. I'm just going to go behind my ear and then I'm going to take this back portion. Also, this is just the way that I like to do it just so I don't miss pieces, but let's go ahead. Let's 
apply this basically just to the root and then I'm gonna go a little bit further down maybe where my last color would have ended and remember paint that forehead you don't want to miss any baby hairs then it makes your hair just look so much thicker too you know also I hope this is in focus wouldn't that be terrible if my second hair coloring video on this channel was not in focus like how embarrassing would that be and what a surprise that's like one of the best videos that I've done lately and it's been doing the best and of course it's the one video that my camera didn't put in focus also how's everybody doing I feel like I'm a little less stressed since my last video I don't feel like I'm nearly as drained like emotionally as a human being as I was whatever like a month ago when I filmed my last like Arctic Fox review but I don't know I'm still stressed I feel like this world is just like falling apart I'm nervous for the elections and I don't want to get political for people because I know that's like not why people come to the internet we're coming here to escape our problems and our worries but let me tell you I'm definitely just really scared for the upcoming elections I'm hoping that around that time things don't get canceled or shut down again and we're not able to vote like that to me is terrifying so please 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 make sure that if your state allows you to vote by mail you vote on time because we have that right and many 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 people fought for us to have that right to vote especially women women you have so many powerful women in our heritage and in our history that have fought for us to vote so make sure that you're doing that but yeah that's like basically where I'm at with life I just feel like I'm just terrified I'm also feeling really good about how my YouTube channel has been going I also have been gaining some subscribers so if you haven't already make sure that you guys do subscribe to my channel but if you are one of those people that is not subscribed to my channel and you're watching this again Please subscribe I'm really really loving the background it is a little busier than I kind of was anticipating but I'm fine with it I really like it I love the aesthetic I feel like this has been a really good place and a really good transition for me I feel like when I actually come into this room I'm feeling more creative and more like in tune with myself which is what I wanted when I colored my hair red for the first time since I was blonde I definitely went a little too dark with it like darker than I was anticipating just because my hair was so fried at the time that my hair just like literally sucked up the color so I've been trying to kind of fade it just so that I can go a little bit lighter just because red fades so quickly so again if you're not willing to color your hair every four weeks or go to a hair salon every four weeks red is definitely not for you and I always describe my hair as like the Jaclyn Hill red do you guys remember when Jaclyn Hill had red hair because that was like my just favorite color and like my favorite moment for her don't get me wrong I love the dark but I definitely like the red on her I feel like it just separated her from everybody and just red is just so perfect and I think it's funny too because <laughs> I live in a red house I have red hair I have a red car and I very much feel like poison ivy is just my aesthetic like that's basically who I've become in the last like six months since quarantine has begun begun begin began <laughs> Let's move on to the other side quickly same thing we're just gonna apply it and you can already see like how much more just vibrant and beautiful that red looks but for me this is the kind of stuff that I just thoroughly enjoy so I like doing it myself but still support people that do go to school and like I said pay money to learn how to do people's hair and not only that too but if you got stuff on your hair be honest with your hairstylist don't be lying about it because again if your hair melts off girl that's not you, boo. And you know, the hairstylist, if you weren't honest, you wouldn't tell them, like, hey, I got 10 years of black box dye on this that I got from Walgreens for $2.99. That's not you. That ain't on your hairdresser. Also, I don't know about anybody, but, like, I have not been really super enthused by, like, any new makeup products that have been coming out. Fashion, lately. I have been really, really into the fashion that's been coming out, just, like, kind of throughout. I just ordered a bunch of stuff from... Uh, misguided so if you guys are interested in that haul that should be up probably later this week um, I ordered it and I did rush shipping and everything again in my videos like I am a small ass youtuber nothing that I'm telling you is sponsored let's just say what it is I'm not a sponsored youtuber so everything that I am telling you showing you and saying to you is all my actual opinion and how I feel because I ain't getting paid to say nothing now if somebody wants to pay me to say things that's fine but I will always 100% be honest with you guys about every product that I recommend or don't recommend because I have had it happen before where I trust these bigger youtubers to give me advice on products and I go spend my hard-earned money on it and then I get pissed. So I'm bringing this down just a little bit further onto my actual hair shaft. Like I would say I'm probably bringing it down about 
three inches from my root and you can kind of see where like my hair starts to get darker this is like kind of where like the bleach ends where my hair was blonde before that's where we're gonna put the arctic fox the reason being is i just want to really brighten up that area because that is where i accidentally put too much of the violet on my hair and i don't want that so i'm gonna just cover that up with more of the red. I'm also super tempted lately to color my eyebrows in. Right now I'm not wearing any makeup besides obviously my eyebrows just because like you don't want to see what I look like. I've been very tempted to color them red. I just, something inside of me is just like, girl, do the red eyebrows, do something fun with it. But also part of me is like, no, you need to be professional at your job. And if you come in with clown brows, that may not be the cutest situation in the world. Also, I was like super motivated to do this. Why does this always happen to me whenever I color my hair? I'm always so motivated. And then as soon as I start doing it, I'm like, girl, why? Why did you decide to do this today? Your hair wasn't, I mean, it was, it was really bad, but your hair wasn't that bad. Like you didn't actually need to do it. Now that we have all of that coated and ready to go, I am going to go throw out the rest of this color because I definitely made way more than I needed. And then we will finish up and do the Arctic Fox on the end. So I'll be back in two seconds. I don't know if I said this before, but the reason that I'm only doing Arctic Fox on the ends of my hair is because my hair was bleached before. I was like platinum ass blonde. So for me, if I put permanent color on my ends, I'm literally just frying them more and more and more. It's just easier to not do that. We have all of the bowl rinsed out. I'm gonna try and put as much of this Arctic Fox in here as I possibly can. Also, I don't know about you guys, but I am so depressed about Jenna Marbles leaving YouTube. I am just like, I, I can't even believe that that's even a thing. Like the fact, like she's gone, like she's off YouTube. I watched the video that Julian posted um, from his Twitch stream where he was talking about it. That makes me so, so sad because I love her. Like she was just something that I looked forward to like the end of my week. You know, like Monday started, I'm like, hey, at least I got Jenna to look forward to, you know? And now I don't. I don't get to see her every week and it makes me very upset. I have my conditioner on the side. Let's start mixing this up. But yeah, just, I don't know. It makes you feel a little defeated at the end of the day that people just can't let go of the past. And I, I'm well aware that people make mistakes. Like don't, don't get me, don't get my words twisted when I say like, you know, like people make mistakes, but like her stuff really wasn't, it was bad. Like it was, it was bad. It not, I'm not saying it wasn't, but like, I think when you're a certain age, you say things and you do things that you maybe don't think about before you say and do and you don't maybe always know right from wrong and again i'm not saying it was okay i'm not condoning it i'm not condoning it but like she definitely the fact that she has used her platform to change and do better by the world and like everything that that really just proves that that's not who she is anymore so i think it's just very hard to look at someone and be judgmental if maybe if you're not perfect from your past, you know? Just my thoughts, just my opinions. This is what the color currently looks like. I don't know if I made enough. So I guess we gonna find out. Put a big old glob. We're just gonna really work it in. And with this type of color, so if you're using like the pre-mix semi-permanent, it is only like a stain, okay? So if it doesn't touch every single hair follicle and it's not like super saturated, girl, you ain't gonna have no color. It's gonna be so patchy. This isn't something that you can like make work, you know? Like if there's not enough, there ain't enough. So make sure that with any semi-permanent color, you just really, really saturate it. Also, I was gonna say this too, my hair naturally is probably about a eight or a seven N. I have like just a very neutral hair tone. It's very just like basic and like a dirty like dish soap. I'm sorry, <laughs> not dish soap, a dirty dishwater blonde. So if you are anything darker than that or you do naturally have like darker hair, you are gonna have to bleach your your roots before you can do the red over it. I am no professional hairstylist, so whatever I am saying to you, take it with a grain of salt. Know that it is not factual information. It is just how I prefer to do things 
what works good for me. So please don't sue me if your hair falls out. Glad we could have that conversation. I'm gonna take this big old dollop and I'm gonna put it into my conditioner, like that big pot of conditioner that I had before on if I mix this up, I can do like a little touch up color. Cause then like the first top layer, if like next week or two weeks from now, if I, my hair is a little more faded, I will just take this off the top of the container, quickly condition my hair. So this is what the hair is looking like currently. Next time I see you guys, my hair will be much brighter, much more fabulous. I will probably have my makeup and a new spray tan done. So I will see you guys in just a second with the finished product. All right, you guys. So this is the finished product. I know you guys saw it in the beginning, but you know, it always just looks so much better. Like it just, the red is just so much more vibrant. It's almost just like that perfect burgundy. It's not a straight up red. It just has so much more dimension and depth to it. It's just the perfect red. It's the perfect, perfect red red. If you guys made it this far into the video, just know I appreciate you. Thank you for staying the entire video. Also, make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel. If you already made it this far, you might as well do it. Clearly, you like the energy. And I will catch you guys next week for hopefully a fashion haul, but it may be something else. Maybe painting. I don't know what it is. That's just... We're gonna let the wind take us where it takes us. So I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.